This is Mr. David with a lesson about taxes and the Stamp Act and the Boston Tea Party. The French and Indian War cost England lots of money. It had a lot of debt. Debt means that you owe for money that you borrowed. They spent a lot of money paying for the army, which had to fight far across the ocean. Where could England get this money from? Well, the government said, let's make the Americans pay new taxes. Taxes are what the money is called, that the people give to the government to pay for things the government needs. What kind of things did England collect tax on? It was printed paper. Things that were made out of paper with printing on them, like newspaper, magazines, Official documents, like papers that are used by the government. And playing cards, because they are printed with paper. It's called the Stamp Act because the people who printed this paper had to put a stamp on each paper and they had to pay the British government to get these stamps. Well, the people in the American colonies did not like these taxes. They did not like paying tax when they really had no votes in the government. So these taxes were eliminated. They were removed by the government. So next, the British government made new taxes. They made taxes on glass. They made a tea tax and they made a tax on plain paper. Well, the American colonists did not like these taxes either. So the British government got rid of the glass tax and the tax on plain paper, but they still needed money, so they kept the tax on tea. And people loved tea, and they did not want to keep paying taxes for it. So this led to what is now called the Boston Tea Party. There was a ship, a British ship, in the water in the city of Boston. It had a lot of tea on it. And some people went onto the ship. Some of them were dressed as Native American Indians. And they got all this tea and they threw it into the water. So it was a protest against the government. Well, the British government was not very happy about this. And they made some rules that said no more ships could come to or go out of Boston. The colonists also cannot meet in groups until they pay for all of this tea that was thrown into the water. So there was starting to be some more problems with the government. What would the colonists do? Would they pay for this tea? Would they really not meet in groups? to talk about things? 
we will learn more in the next lesson.